What's up guys and welcome to a tutorial about Plex. So what is Plex and what can it do? Plex, very short and simple, is a media viewer but a very beautiful one and you can do a lot of things with it concerning media. You can watch your movies, your pictures, listen to your music and much more and the best of it all is you can actually watch it wherever you are so if you have a server or a computer at home you can easily make from your computer or your laptop a server and if you've got pictures or videos or music on it and you go on vacation and you have an internet access you will be able to access those pictures and music and videos really easily with the Plex app well the Plex software and I'm going to show you in this tutorial um, the basics such as how to install it, how to use it and how to watch your media with Plex. So let's, uh, let's get right to it. First let's go to the Plex site. PlexApp.com Let's load it up and it immediately redirects me to Plex.tv so if you want a shorter way to go there just go to plex.tv and we're gonna go to downloads now there's something you have to keep in mind because if you if you're a download uh, the first thing you see is computer or NAS so you have a lot of options um, to have your Plex installed on either your computer your Android or iPhone device or your TV which is uh, pretty cool but we're gonna go for the computer I'm uh, on a Windows, so and I'm not. I can't speak Korean, so I'm just gonna use uh, English. And then when it's done downloading, we'll just go through the install process real quickly. Let's hope it goes a little faster. But okay. And a second thing you'll have to download, which might not be that obvious, is your Plex uh, app. So this, what we've just downloaded, is the media server. What does that mean? This will be the program that hosts your movies, pictures, software, and makes them accessible. Now, how to watch them is with the Plex media streaming uh, software, which is here. And we'll have to download that as well. So let's go to home theater and download in English again oh it's another 60 megabytes no problem let's start installing the Plex media server which you have to have on um, all the time if you want to watch your media and uh, well I'm sure you pretty much know how to install any kind of software it's next next except next there's no bloatware so that's a uh, that's a plus and when it's installed you just open it up which shouldn't be too hard you go to start you type Plex and well I have it here I can go to my Plex media server and this icon here in the right bottom corner will pop up and if you double click it it will bring you to your local host we'll get that to that um, in a minute so we've downloaded the Plex home theater if you've installed that great it's again next I agree next next and install but since I have it installed already I'm not gonna just install it twice because that's a bit overkill and let's go and see how it looks once installed I'll open Plex and it looks great it's look it's looking awesome um, you can already see what I have on my computer. Um, what this shows me, I've put G Movies because the G stands for gaming laptop, which I'm on right now, and G TV shows. So these are the TV shows I'm watching. Um, well, on my gaming laptop, I'm not watching them. I don't really have all my shows, but I have a media server which has all the movies that I'm able to watch. And for example, here you see. Battle Los Angels. Um, this one is one I've started watching, but 
I had to stop because I had to go someplace and that's one of the awesome features of Plex uh, well you can just go away um, close the program and it will remember where you stopped so here it's asking me resume from 1601 or start from the beginning oh my bad so that's one of the awesome features and if you have a TV show that you're following uh, it will also remember where you stopped but if you finished the episode it will simply tell you what's next here in this top row now below it you have the last added episodes the recently added which is also awesome to see but I don't really use it because most of the time it's like episode 10 while I'm still at episode 1 but n n nevertheless now here you see my snowboard now uh, that's something I've added extra which are uh, my snowboard videos that I made while uh, on vacation so I can share this with someone of uh, with someone in my family and they can just watch my videos instead of sending them the videos they can just stream them off my computer how awesome is that and it's really really easy I don't know if I can show you anything right now uh, I should be able to show you so you see this is really oh this these are pictures my bad so as you can see you can also just stream your pictures which is pretty awesome and of course also videos but we'll get to that in a second there you go let's get out of there and okay see so these are pictures these are videos so if I just open up a video I'll show you real quick there should be a funny one right here somewhere um, well not that it matters that much this is a tutorial but let's just open up one there you go so yeah this is pretty awesome I can just watch my videos it makes thumbnails immediately and uh, there are many other features but we'll talk about that later so you're probably wondering how do I add my media to this program because when you first open it up on your computer you won't see anything so I'll show you how easy it actually is to get it to work so let's quit this app real quick and if you go to your right bottom corner and you open up this little menu you will see the Plex server on if it's not on just turn it on and you go to start and you type in Plex media server and it should pop up here if you have a Windows 7 or Windows XP I think you'll find you'll you know you'll know how to find it it, sh it shouldn't be that hard it'll be on your desktop or whatever you click it and it starts it's a silent app so you won't see it unless you open up this menu and you double click the icon it will bring you to your local host so this is the computer where the server is running and this is also the computer where well you have to make the changes so you see you see here my library uh, I sorry it's in Dutch because yeah I'm, I'm Dutch but it'll say my library where um, where you're looking at and you can see that I have added a lot of libraries so this is my account oh sorry stupid stupid uh, thing uh, to forget you have to make an account but that's not too hard uh, they're very uh, very clear on how to do everything so that's really easy you can see my account here Nutty Horny that's my name so no hate I didn't choose my surname um, let's go to my library and if you're on your library you'll see nothing here but oh sorry you can add a section by pressing the plus sign so let's do that real quick now I have two servers connected to my uh, account mainly my gaming laptop and my media server as I said earlier um, let's add one to my gaming laptop and you can choose either is it a film is it series is it TV shows is it music is it private movies is it pictures now why what's the difference between private movies and just films or movies 
Well, the difference is if you put your, let's say, snowboard movies in uh, your movie folder, if in this section, it will try and find the metadata um, out of like IMDB, um, out of many different sites, and it will try to find like a description, a, a thumbnail picture, and it could go wrong. It could go really, really wrong. I'll show you. I'll show you how it went wrong with me. So, which is pretty awkward, actually. So I sent. I made a time lapse video once, and uh, I called it uh, "Home is where your loved ones are." Oh, so here it's okay because I've added it as a as a, a private film, but. If you go to my my, my, my my media movies and you go to all and you check here the loved ones well I, I the title was where your loved ones are for my time-lapse and because I didn't add it as a private movie it gave it a thumbnail that almost fitted the description but this is a horror movie about a psycho chick that wants to kill a guy for not going to prom with her and this is the video that I made with my time-lapse so yeah it's kind of misleading oh and by the way what you're seeing now is streaming from my other computer so how awesome is that so that's one of the possibilities with Plex and as I go out as I go out of, um, so you see, it says buffering because it's doing it over internet, but it's really, 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 really good. So you don't have to worry about buffering stuff and stuff. And I'll go out of this in a sec, and you'll see that how I, when I go out of it, um, you'll see this little half moon, which tells you that you've started watching it, but you didn't end it. Same with Battle Los Angeles. So if I escape, press escape and escape again, now it will pop up on things that you still have to watch. So it's called On Deck. So these two are on deck because we started watching this one and we were 41 minutes, 41 seconds in. So let's quit again because I was showing you how to add a section. Sorry for sidetracking there. And let's add let's say music we just name the, mu the the folder and we add the folder that we want to have um, available in our Plex home theater so let's do that real quick you press um, add a folder and you go look for the folder where you stored your music so I know that it should be in my Ba -ba -bum, music folder right here and I've got music and I've got this is an album of a friend of mine we just press add and now it will scan for all the music which is in this folder so in music music and then synth synth DNB who by the way made the intro and outro music so uh, a link in the description and you'll, you'll you can check him out because he's really good he's a good friend of mine and it's awesome so you save it and press the orange button and you can see here there you go it has the music if it's a popular uh, artist like let's say Shakira is my top of mind I don't know why I'm not really a fan but meh there you go you have it will update the album cover and it's wrong here because it thinks it's Sintimi which I don't even know but meh so you have to add private music but that's kind of it's not an option it doesn't matter and when you have this added and if we return to our plex home theater you will see in our section music bam oh and this is the correct album cover so that's awesome i can go to my music and i can just listen to it which is really really cool um, one of my favorite songs of the album is Spectrum, the name of the album. And there you have it. You can just listen to your music and enjoy without any hassle. And even if you're abroad, if in, even if you're 
away from home and you want to listen to the music that's on your computer as long as you have an internet connection you don't have to go to YouTube and look it up you don't have to go to iTunes uh, which I don't know you just have to go into Plex and start your music how awesome is that so let's get out of here oh and it keeps on playing I didn't even know that because I never play music with um, Plex I'm just showing you guys that it is an option let's quit and uh, that's how you add your libraries so it's called the library if I press the home button I can see that I've added here a music disc which is the music library with synth DNB's music in so it's the same process for everything we just add the press on plus and we add for example a TV show we go to our folder we look for our folder where you saved your TV shows uh, which I don't I won't find right now because I don't really uh, know where I put my TV shows ba -ba -bum. and when you've just added it it will be added into Plex now it might not be updated with album art immediately but that's no problem if you want to do it manually I mean the updating you just right click on your icon so you go to the right bottom corner of your screen you click here right click on the icon of the Plex media server and you just press update media library and immediately you can see that it's scanning your library now you don't have to have this open so you don't have to open anything so yeah I guess I guess we we now know the basics we've seen how to install it and we've seen how to add a library so now you can go on and enjoy Plex have fun in the next tutorial we will see how we can port um, how we can make it accessible everywhere in the world where you are so if you have it on your iPad if you have Plex on your iPad and you want to watch your movies or your videos or your music that are on your computer at home how you can view them via your iPad so join me in the next episode if you're interested for more bye bye guys <laughs>